Yes, I'll be needing your watches, your wallets, the pin codes to your credit cards. <laughs> I'll be up in just a second, ma'am. Thank you for leaving this conveniently placed cardboard box. You can just continue to contract and expand your strange little legs. Dude, you might want to watch out for this one. She looks like she's made out of the same thing that Stretch Armstrong was. And I'm pretty sure she has crabs. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the most arbitrary series on the internet. Three random games. And our first game is called Concourse X-Ray, where you play as a TSA agent with X-Ray glasses, and you gotta stop people from smuggling stuff onto the plane. Now, the thing is, I don't know if they're gonna be X-Ray glasses like the kind they were trying to sell to kids in comic books. You know, like 10 cents and you can see your neighbor naked kind of thing. I get the feeling it's gonna be more like hospital x-rays. Like you see bones and balloons full of booger sugar in people's bums. Day one, use your x-ray glasses to find travelers carrying prohibited items. Don't let the threat level max out. Prohibited items include Mrs. K. Who's Mrs. K? Is somebody trying to smuggle somebody's grandmother in here? And why is this sign made of lead? Why can't I see through it? Oh, firearms and knives. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Okay, don't worry, Mrs. K. You can just move that booger sugar across the border because it's not a firearm or a knife. It's not even a balloon. It's just a brick. Just a full-blown brick in the lung. Good for you. <laughs> you know what? If you want to wrap your dick in headphones or smuggle coke in your butt, you do... That's a little far. That that might be a little dangerous. Oh my god, there's so many mules! <laughs> no knives or guns, though. Just a lot of lobsters and fans? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I, I already love this game. Um... Grenades? No, no, again, not a firearm, not a knife. Probably in the clear. Yeah, there were no problems there. Firearms are acceptable, but no bananas, eggplants, or nunchucks. Oh, okay, yeah, I saw a lot of bananas there. So bananas, eggplants, nunchucks. Just a, a whole medley of random crap that they want me to stop. Let's meet them at the door this time. You know what, um... Okay, guns are fine, but nunchucks, no. Just, uh, Jesus. Thanks, Steve. You're, you're doing a great job up there. Just just keep a careful eye out. I gotta make sure that anybody with fish in their pockets gets a careful looking over. Guns, perfectly fine. Don't need to worry about them on a plane. Uh, eggplants and bananas, right? Oh, 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 yeah, oh, listen, lady. You can keep the Glock, but hand over the potassium. When it comes to the inside of somebody's bum, it is really difficult to tell the difference between a banana, an eggplant, and a brick full of powder. <laughs> Guys, I need you to work with me on this, okay? Here's how we're gonna remember it. If it's snorted up your nose, you may goes. But if it comes from a tree, then watch out for Steve. <laughs> oh, come on, I got it wrong! What was that? I can't keep up. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm not seeing any bananas and eggplants. Just so many firearms and, and, oh, there's an eggplant, there's an eggplant, right? Are you an eggplant? Get, get back here. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, no eggplants in my airports. <laughs> okay, that could have went smoother, for sure. Had a few little road bumps there, but... I think everything is gonna be fine. Yeah, threat level is still you know, guarded. Yeah, call in the National Guard. Somebody got through with potassium, God forbid. Uh, you guys need some help? Find your way to your gate, there you go. Oh, uh, all right then. Today, travelers will be going both ways. No snakes, worms, or lobsters on the planes. No, no, I can't handle this. Who wakes up in the morning and says to themselves, you know what, I'm gonna walk through the airport, big dick energy in tow, and try to smuggle a python across the border in my pants. <laughs> maybe I'll impress a TSA agent, you know, maybe I'll meet somebody, you never know. Maybe I'll lose a testicle. 
<laughs> it could happen. Lobster. Okay. Really just gotta look out for anything with legs. No, never mind. That doesn't apply snakes and worms. <laughs> anything that's moving? Yeah, we'll go with anything that's moving. You can go and you can go. These are quite a bit easier. Right? They stand out a little bit more. I think I'm all right. I just need to make sure that I don't make too many false arrests. Yeah, my, my threat level is very low right now. Everything is fine. People are just kind of hanging out, talking about, you know, a fan. And Oh, that's not a fan. That's your hips. Talking about bomb butt stuff. Yeah, that's it's all very interesting, sir. But get, can you please move move along? Move along. Yeah, that's it. Just go about your business. <laughs> Anything else alive over here? No? Okay, good. Uh eggs. Grenades and bombs are fine. Just don't allow eggs. <laughs> Let me guess. They look the exact same. Is that an egg? I don't know. Okay, you know, we'll, we'll just test. Yeah, okay, that's an egg. That's an egg. Okay, so an egg is a little bit bigger than a bomb. Uh, is that an egg? I think that might have been an egg. Uh, good, 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 good. Okay, no eggs in my country. Was there a sale at the grenade store? I don't understand. It looked like a Christmas decoration. Smartphones. Okay, rubber ducks are in. Smartphones are not. Gotcha. Oh, God. You should see a doctor about that. There's no way that's healthy. That's way too many ducks for one person. <laughs> Just gotta make sure that there are no phones. Right, a phone doesn't look like a duck. That should be pretty easy to pick out. Yeah. All right, throw me a nice slow ball. I can relax, catch my breath for a second. Like, there's a whole lot to look at, but they're moving pretty slowly, and it's all the same thing. So it's not too difficult to pick out the smartphones, I think. I mean, I'm not seeing any smartphones. Hopefully you guys, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, I see, gotcha, there we go. <laughs> I'm really curious what Steve does with them. Oh, here we go. Um, Day six, final day, uh, rest everyone with a rubber duck. Ooh, here's hoping that all those people don't turn around because I just let a whole lot of rubber duck people in. Okay, you got a rubber duck, you got a rubber duck. Wait, is it just, oh God, they did turn around. Oh no, 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 Steve, this is gonna be all you, bud. You're the one who needs to go real fast because there's so many people. I'm just gonna have to hang out right here and do my best to sort it out as they pass me. No, 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 I don't wanna get a game over. It's the final day. <laughs> it's the final day of my first day. I'm gonna retire hero. How many lives have I saved doing? God, that guy's got a lot of ducks. No, no, stop granny. There we go. Okay, you know, one duck is fine, but she almost smuggled the whole flock across the border. Jesus Christ, there's so many of you. <laughs> you got one right in the pooper. Uh, you and you. Okay, I think I think this is under control. I don't think we've let too many past. Hopefully, I might need to run down to the other end of the airport. You guys look pretty stuck. You just hang out there. I gotta. No, you're good. Okay. You. Uh huh. You. Uh huh. Yeah! The airport is safe thanks to your heroic, eagle-eyed efforts. I knew they would throw the word hero out there. It is not an understatement. Three random games. Our next game is called Knife to Meet You, which I assume is based off of that crab with a knife meme that I'm sure everybody has seen at some point or another. It, it kind of reminds me of Octodad, if Octodad was bad. As with most of these games, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I just wanted to say that right now. Like, what does a crab with a knife do? Other than follow the arrows on a fence. Okay, yeah, we can probably do that. I just assumed that I would, you know, mug people. <laughs> I look like the mugging type. I'll just walk over and then stab a bottle. No, no, hey, 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 hey. Watch, watch it, can. Watch it. Okay, I'll stab you and pinch you and, and steal your wallet. Get, get the hell out of here. Get, get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay, the arrows are telling me to go up here. So I am gonna go up here. Oh my God, these controls. It is so difficult to be a crab. <laughs> Great. We're in some schmuck's backyard. What now? More arrows. All right, then. We'll just assume that they have some kind of elaborate setup. Yeah, not really looking to barbecue myself today. Maybe the point of the game is to ruin their barbecue? Right? What if I smash all your booze and, uh, I guess 
jump? Nope, nope. Apparently crabs are not all that great at jumping. I guess that kind of makes some sense. What do you guys want me to do with all this crap? Something. Stab it? Th stabbing is the one thing I'm good at, okay? <laughs> stabbing and turning upside down and, and spazzing out. Huh. Okay. I didn't really intend that, but sure, I made a bridge. Now, how are we gonna get up there? This camera is just absurd. I'm not doing anything right now. Maybe there's something in the shed that can help me? There's more booze over here. I don't know how that's gonna help me, but we can smash it anyway. Oh, an axe! Can I take an axe? Uh, okay, oh, it's a magic flying axe. That's not what I intended. <laughs> Mr. Crab, let go, let go! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, axe? The meme is a crab with a knife, not a crab with an axe. Okay, you don't mess with your memes, so we're gonna stay away from the axe. I'll keep smashing random bottles, I guess, because they keep giving me points, but I'm not seeing anything around here that would be able to help me. There's some bottles up there. I don't suppose... Oh, I need to use this to make a bridge to get over the barbecue. Now we're talking. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Hold on a second. <laughs> Just try not to clip through the ground again. What kind of alcoholics live in this place? There's just booze everywhere. <laughs> I'm guessing I don't want to step across the fire. Maybe I can clo close that. Yeah, that, that's pretty clever, Mr. Crab. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Smash everything. Yep, screw it all. Oh, I didn't put this down. It's got my knife is stuck underneath me. Just get, 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 the, get the hell, get the hell out of there. I'm just gonna assume that I can jump into this. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, oh, that's, oh, come on. This is one small step for Mr. Crab and one giant leap for Crab Kind. Oh, please, 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 sort, sort yourself out, Mr. Crab. Thank you, there we go. Oh. Hello, ma'am. Don't mind if I come in, do you? Knock, knock. Oh, oh, we got the couple in here. Hello. Yes, I'll be needing your watches, your wallets, the pin codes to your credit cards. <laughs> I'll be up in just a second, ma'am. Thank you for leaving this conveniently placed cardboard box. You can just continue to contract and expand your strange little legs. Dude, you might want to watch out for this one. <laughs> She looks like she's made out of the same thing that Stretch Armstrong was. And I'm pretty sure she has crabs. <laughs> oh! She smooshed me. So apparently this isn't a crab home invasion simulator, which is good to know. I suppose there's something else I'm gonna accomplish in here. Oh, hold on a second. We got more cardboard boxes if I could ever get up there. Oh my God. Every control in this game is just pure cancer, and that's ironic considering I'm a crab. <laughs> Can I please just, no, avoid her, avoid her. Not interested, ma'am, just stay away from me. I'm doing my little backflips and getting stuck in your goddamn furniture. All I've managed to accomplish by getting up on this shelf is being closer to eye height with you. That's it, there's, there's nothing up here. I need to get behind you. So if you would please stop dancing around like a clod, I would really appreciate that. Okay, get get all this crap out of the way. All this all this stupid crap. Just get 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 out of the way. Get out of the way. Don't you dare step on me again. I have put up with enough in this life. Maybe it's because I'm walking forward. I never thought about that. Crabs don't usually walk like this, do they? Oh, interesting. We have uh pot and dynamite on top of the fridge. I'm guessing I need this. Right, yeah, I'll take this with me and then we'll we'll go uh we'll go down here. Oh. Okay, hold hold on. Hold just you hang out there. Can I get this down? Uh, uh there we go. Good. Good. Now, careful. <laughs> this is going to go in there. Oh! Was that good? Was that a good? I, I, I blew up my boiling oppressors. Yeah! <laughs> okay, that was a video game. Three random games.
Our final game is called Bird by Example, and I wish I could tell you literally anything about this, but all I know is that you get to be a bird with giant man arms. And I thought, yep, that, that's enough. I'm assuming this is probably me, me. What the hell was that? Hello, I am Blackboard. I am Blue Board. <laughs> so we are very similar. Uh. Okay, cool. Is this a multiplayer game? It's kind of look like people, right? They, they all like spawned in at the same time. Weird, uh, left click is violence, right click is my cursor. All right then, our bodies are real now. We have needs, this is important for the game. What do I do here? I look like I have just hit a gallon of acid. This is definitely some kind of weird trip right now. Hello? Excuse me, fellow boards. Can I come be bored with you? What are we doing over here? There's no way these are people, right? There's no chance that there's like dozens of people playing a game called Bird by Example at three o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday. What, what you doing? Just punching a wall? I'm gonna try to make communication. Hey, hey, can, can we? That's- that's such a person! This is the universal I'm a person symbol! You jump up and down when you see somebody else jumping up and down! <laughs> okay, well, what if I, uh, what if I punch you? What if we get violent? Yeah, we're just gonna rango tango. How about something like that? Am I... Did I kill it? Uh... Okay, I think I killed him. Are you okay, bud? Is this like a battle royale game? Oh yeah, this is definitely a Fortnite competitor if I've ever seen it. <laughs> who, who made noise? Hello? Hello? Yeah, we're friends, maybe, possibly. What the hell am I supposed to do here? I, I don't get it. Here we have the grave of number 10, whoever 10 was. Should I investigate the grave? Oh yeah, this is interesting. Here we go, we'll just, uh, did that just say sleep? Whoa, what? Okay. What the hell? Oh, it's you. It's me. You're early. Am I now? Did that just say danger? What the hell is this game? I found like some kind of... It's either a place for a podcast or... <laughs> like some kind of evil bird's room? Uh, hello? Hello? Don't, oh, that's a bird skeleton. I was gonna make a bird skeleton joke, but that's... That's legitimately a bird skeleton. Okay. I just wanted to play a game with birds with arms, but... Th this is weird! Am I trapped down here now? I want to go up to the main hub and hang out with people. There's nothing for you here. Yeah, I noticed that much stupid sign. There is no mystery. Nobody says that unless there's a mystery, okay? What's the mystery? What exactly is going on in here? Did I forget my giant bird glasses? Then again, I guess I probably did have my eyes dilated for some kind of exam recently. <laughs> she was happy. Was she now? Okay, she will always be happy. All right, hello. We be happy together. This is bored. Oh, oh. Uh, I don't know if I'm clipping through. No. Mm, this is this is weird. This is weird. I'm getting like inside vibes from this. I am now a slightly more normal bird, and I think I've gathered what's going on here. Bird by Example is a mock RPG where all the other occupants are horrifying birds who mimic your behavior with deep learning. These birds have artificial brains that optimize learning challenges using trendy deep learning algorithms found in the titular deep and ancient waters directly adjacent to Silicon Valley. You will be helping Mama teach the rest of the birds basic skills which they can apply using their rudimentary environmental awareness and a knack for peer-to-peer teaching 
teaching to develop a new world order, a world free from big ghoul. I still have little to no idea what that means, but that's why that guy was jumping around when I was jumping around. Right, because he saw me jumping, and then he started to jump, and he taught all the others to jump, so now everybody's jumping! <laughs> and there's a bunch of doors! So hold on a second, what would happen if I punch you guys? Right, if I'm Big Mama, then Big Mama says, let's thrash, okay? We're gonna all get violent. I'm gonna teach one of you guys to slap each other around, and then I want you guys to all, oh wait, I can't do that too much though, right? Because I don't want you to well, get stuck in the wall, but mainly to die. I think I killed a few already by accident, so if we could just get violent, come on, we're gonna teach each other to get violent, get, get violent, you stupid birds! I look like the world's shittiest Sonic the Hedgehog, and that's saying a lot, because I've seen the trailer of the new movie. I may not have gross human teeth, but I am escaping the boundaries of this world, I think? What's that? There's some kind of mystery going on here, and I kind of want to go investigate. I've left the birds behind, okay? I punched a bunch of them. We'll come back and see if they're moshing a little later. Right now, I'm kind of curious just what all of this is. Ow! Oh! I just slept. I'm guessing it says sleep when you hurt yourself. Estuary. Okay. Yeah, I'll go for an estuary, whatever the hell that means. Here we go, now we're talking. We're gonna go meet the wizard that lives on this hill. That, nope, I'm gonna fall through the ground and break my stupid bird neck. What, what kind of magic is this? Aw, <laughs> oh, come on, my legs all screwed up. They really don't want me getting up there and I don't understand why, but every time I fall, I get a little bit more hurt and I'm now to the point where I'm crawling. <laughs> there has to be a way to get up. Oh, nope, nope, that, mm, yep, that hurt. And I'm back over here. Are we punching yet? Yeah, we're all punching! <laughs> this is the weirdest game I've ever played. I don't know what the purpose is, but you know what? I, I, I think I've had enough of it. I'm just gonna beat this bird to death in a tube and we're gonna call it a day. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Three Random Games, guys. I wanna be making more of these videos because I absolutely love them, but it is a little difficult to find games. You know, I want stuff that isn't just crap. You no, know, I, I try not to look into the games too much before I record them, but at the same time, people say, you know, if it's just three random games, then all you have to do is download three games and you're good. But it's not really the case. There's a lot of really crappy, unfunny games out there, and it takes me a while. But if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, leave some comments with suggestions. I'm always looking for more ideas, and I'll try to make more soon. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.